Shayla. Hello. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? My name is Shayla Hughes. I'm a fourth semester here at CCBC, and I did my third semester in Jerusalem, Israel. Yay, awesome. It was beautiful. How old are you? I am 20 years old. Okay, where are you from? Uh, Victorville, California. Okay. And uh, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> I just love hanging out with people. Um, it doesn't matter what we do, yeah. as long as we're having fun. Oh. So can you tell us how you met Christ and when it was? I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I'm sure that like a lot of kids that grow up in a yeah. Christian home, I said that that sinner's prayer like as a kid. I don't remember. But Jesus became reality to me when I was about 18 and a half, mm -hmm. freshman year of college. Mm -hmm. And um, things haven't been the same since. I don't know how else to put it, but the Lord convicted me, and I'm aware of the Holy Spirit, and um, yeah. Do you remember the moment when you met Jesus Christ when you were? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can never forget. I think about it daily. Um, it was. I was at my friend's house and. He was talking about his beliefs in Hare Krishna and yeah. I was really confused at the time. I was definitely not claiming to be a Christian uh -huh. and I was just open to a lot of things and I remember asking him, him and my friend, like what do you guys believe? Yeah. You can tell me about your beliefs and as soon as he started describing his beliefs, I Suddenly I just, I felt so confused, I just felt this wave of guilt rush over me yeah. and I just had to leave so I excused myself to go to the bathroom and um, I just, I didn't know what I was doing but I was crying out to the Lord, I was yeah. just on my knees and it was just a really memorable moment, you know, there's a lot more detail than that but definitely it was February 22nd, 2012, I'll never wow. forget. And, um, and uh, I went home from college and started working. My walk hasn't been smooth since then, but uh, God is so good. He's so good. He always brings us back to Him, even when we're separated. And that verse is one that stands out to me. I believe it's 2 Samuel 1414 14, that life is like water spilled out on the ground that cannot be gathered up again. But God doesn't just throw life away. Instead, He finds a way to bring us back to Him when we've been separated from Him. And that is definitely the testimony of a lot of you who grew up in the church. You know, we have to go our own way sometimes and um, to really appreciate the Lord's grace. And He allows that for us. And I'm not saying we should, but He allows that. He makes things to work together for our good and just uh, praise Him. I don't know. <laughs> So how has the relationship with Christ been going with you? Recently? Oh, it's so good. He's let me be a dorm steward this semester. Yeah. I have the best girls in my room. Shout out to Kaylee Worley, Lexi, and <laughs> awesome. Kelly. I love them so much. <laughs> um, he's good. Like, I would have never stepped up to a leadership position mm -hmm. if I wasn't, like, when I'm not walking well with God. I'm really fearful and fearful of man, but when I'm walking well with him, I think with anyone walking well with him, he gives yeah. you that confidence in him, like, that empowerment. Like, yeah, you can. You can be a leader, because that's what we're called to be. Yeah. So, walk. life is good. Our walk is good. I love the Lord. Yeah. So, if you describe your relationship with God with just one word, what would that be? Stability. Mental stability. Yeah. Not that I'm perfect, but more and more every day, yeah. just getting that mental stability and that inner peace, a deep peace, not that fake peace, mm -hmm. but deep, real, true. a real, real, genuine rest with God, because I'm not against God anymore. I'm not running from Him. I've got nothing to hide. Yeah. So thanks for the interview, Thank you, Aya. God bless you.